In the previous episode, some crazy, mysterious character dropped a bunch of mystery boxes on our valley, and so we're gonna figure out what that uh, what that actually means. Not in right now, but in the next day, because right now we got the the luau, and I don't know if I have anything for it. Uh, weather forecast for tomorrow gonna be sunny and clear. Fortune teller, somewhat perturbed. Doesn't really matter too much uh, because we just gotta get all of our normal stuff done as quickly as possible, I think. Um, because I think I gotta get to the Luau by two, is what it said. And I will tell you, I'll tell you straight up, I am in pain today. <laughs> Man, do I got a story for you guys. And it involves moving a tree. Yeah, so, uh, we, <laughs> we had moved into our house, which is new construction, um, back in... Uh, not not this February, but last February. So we've been here for just over a year. And our house is, well, a little bit older than that. Just a little bit. Because it's, you know, it was just built right before... It had just finished building right before we bought the house. Um, <laughs> and the way our yard works at our house is it happens to be positioned in such a way that it ends up, because of the, the way the cul-de-sac is, it ends up being one of the biggest yards in the entire community. Which is great. It's great for us. We love it. But there's a lot of blank space. So we really need to uh, you know, consider how to fill that space. And one of our neighbors, he he didn't want his magnolia tree that he had uh, in the back when he bought his house. And he was going to get rid of it and swapped out for something else. So we had talked to him about it and we we're like, hey, you know, we'll take your tree because, you know, we can fill out a space in our yard for it. We've got like a corner that's got like nothing in it. And um, it'd be perfect to have like a large tree there. And even though his house is the same age as ours, it's like they planted a fairly large tree in the back of his house for, you know, for new construction. So a couple weeks ago. I think I, I may have mentioned this in the Stardew Valley episode. I don't remember, but we're gonna we're just gonna chat through it anyways. Um, we had gone over there to check out the tree. Turns out there was a bunch of carpenter ants, like huge carpenter ants, like an inch. Like <laughs> that's how big they were. Um, in this, like the the mulch that they had put around this tree, and we're like, oh crap, we got to get rid of this stuff. We're not transplanting a colony of ants with this tree. Uh, nor do we want to all get bit by that, right? So yeah, we go, did a bunch of poison and whatnot, and got rid of got rid of the ants. Um, and so we went over there today, and ooh boy, it was that was a process. So uh, this would now be like the third tree that we've dug up here, because um, we got rid of a tr a tree that we just did not want. Um, in the back of our yard. It was like right in the middle of the yard in the worst possible spot. Not sure why the builders put it there, right? So we got rid of that one. Uh, we also, or I guess it's the fourth one. We, we got a holly tree from one of our neighbors, a smaller one, and then we bought a holly tree and put it out front. Um, so like we had, we, we've done this a few times, but this is definitely the biggest tree. <laughs> and so we, we, <laughs> We go over there and we dig out the bulb, which takes, I don't know, maybe an hour to do. Uh, basically digging around the tree and then underneath it. And then I sat there for 10 minutes rocking back and forth on this tree to the point where I'm like rolling the tree onto the ground to get this, uh, you know, the bulb of the tree taken care of and, and out of the ground. And this tree had to have been... Anywhere between three and four hundred pounds. It because of all the dirt and everything on it as well, and it was massive. Like how we had to pull this thing out and everything. We had a wheelbarrow, and it's our next door neighbor, so it's not like we had to go very far. But we have a fence up. We had to go all the way around the front of our house to the gate, through the fence, and everything. So we put it. We we rolled it. I should say we didn't roll it. I grabbed it and yanked it out of this uh, hole enough that we could then fill the hole with dirt underneath it and then roll the rest of the tree out, right? And I am manhandling this thing. I'll tell you what. You ever see the Grinch? You know, the one with, uh, with uh, Jim Carrey? It's the part where uh, the, the they're talking about, like, the Grinch doing this, well, fairly 
angry thing. He's like, he's he's going off as a kid. And someone's like, oh, you know, the anger, the blah, blah, blah. And then the the who that likes the Grinch is like, and the muscles. We made that joke a lot with me because I, I manhandled this, this tree out and I really shouldn't have. I mean, I weigh 150 pounds and I'm, I'm fairly in good shape. But this was beyond my physical capabilities. Uh, so I ended up pulling all sorts of muscles. Or I'm, I might have torn a muscle in my arm. My hands have been having a hard time closing today. <laughs> it's, I'm making it sound way worse than uh, than I'm feeling at the moment. But I am so sore. My legs are killing me. Uh, it's really, really bad. I don't think I have any good things to take to this luau. I actually might have to search through my stuff and go to the wiki and see what might end up being the best. Maybe these cherries may, may be the better option here, but I can't screw this up. Anyways, to quickly wrap up the story, we uh, we rolled it out, and because uh, where his tree was, it was on a hill a little bit, so we, <laughs> we took the wheelbarrow and we flipped it on its side, so it was like down. We rolled the, the tree bulb like into the side of the wheelbarrow and then utilizing the the hill a little bit, um, it had a pivot point and and got the wheelbarrow up and then my wife helped me uh, basically take it over to our our yard and that I thought I was gonna die by the time we got over to our yard it was it was so heavy but we got it planted and it looks great and I am falling apart I just sat around for the rest of the day doing nothing just completely still walking up the stairs constantly saying ow like I am in pain. Uh, so this this episode's not gonna be very long, just to say that. All right, I gotta look through all this and see what's gonna what's gonna work for us. Okay, I think I've looked through just about everything, and the thing that looks like it's gonna work is, and they're all the same: a grape, um, the squash, the hot pepper, and the cauliflower are all the same. So I'm just gonna use a grape. So we'll, we'll sell everything else minus the squash. I'm gonna use the squash for for energy. I think so get rid of all that. Come over here, we'll pop that. Yeah, that's a that's a weird one. Okay. <laughs> let's let's go. We gotta go do our luau. Get this done with. Move on. Go on to the next day. And uh and then possibly fall over and die because man, my legs are starting to kill me. Here's the thing that I don't think I've mentioned yet for anybody new. When I record, I have a I have a sit-stand desk, so when I'm recording, I'm always standing. Um, I just find it's better, right? It helps my brain focus a little bit better, and, and it means that I'm also not just sitting all the time. Um, been doing that since 2021, 20, I guess. Maybe actually a little bit before that, 20, 2020? Yeah, it was It was um, when I first had moved back in 2020, yeah. Interesting. Anyways, yeah, that was, it's a whole thing, huh? I like, I really like actually standing at my desk, but right now, oh. It's bad. And I and the problem is if I sit, it's worse. It's worse. I can't sit. Don't do it. <laughs> if I'm sitting, it's just, it's not going to work. Uh, we'll talk to them in a second. There's only one person. I feel like talking to. Where Where is Maru? There she is. She's got her back turned. It's hard to see her. Whatever. Linus's roasting smells awfully good. Oh, I see. Because he's over there, like, doing like a spit roast or whatever. Uh, can I add something? She brought something for the soup, climb the stairs on the other side, and throw it in. Let's do it, baby. Give her the gold grape. Um, specifically the gold one. <laughs> the other ones, they don't, don't work so well. We didn't get the best response. We got, like, a good one. Look sharp. The governor's here for the annual visit. If you brought something for the potluck, make sure to add it to the soup cauldron. I did that. Can I talk to you again? Should we move forward? Yep. I'm not going to spend time talking to everybody. Not this time. Well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put the highest, uh, high quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret his visit to the valley. Well, governor, would you do us the honor of tasting the soup? Of course, I've been looking forward to this all year. It's gonna, it's gonna be good. And you know what you get from that, apparently, from the wiki, you get 60 friendship points with villagers. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, he's happy. 
Ah, uh, it's a very pleasant soup. The produce from this valley never disappoints. Mmm, tasty. You all did very well today. Thanks, guys. Now, who else wants some soup? You know, that's a pretty quick day, actually. Uh, Lou, I was success. Good thing I brought something tasty for the soup. Yay. Time to head home. It's going to be 10, I think. Yeah. So, we don't have a whole lot of time. Um, so, I'm going to sell the rest of this stuff. I'm going to hold on to that. Yeah, this is a weird one. I want to... Uh, I want to plant the rest of these. Did I have anything else to plant? Bait. Mixed flower seeds. You know what? I'm, I may as well just go ahead and plant all of this stuff. Which means I also need to water it, but... You know, that's a... You know, it, do, it doesn't really matter. But we'll, we'll get all this planted so that way we can... Have some extra stuff growing. You know what? I think my melons are going to be ready tomorrow. Which means I don't have to water all of them. Which is kind of nice. Hello, pup. All right. Bedtime. I'm excited to see what we get. Not a lot, but... You know, actually quite a lot from foraging, from getting all this. We just went up 4K. It's pretty good. I think that, um... If it's raining tomorrow, we have to upgrade our water can. So let's check. A storm is approaching. Beautiful. So, uh, we're going to water everything, go to the blacksmith upgrade, and do our box or mystery box. Uh, good humor today as well. Okay. Got, we, this is a day. This is going to be a long day. Ooh, we got some blueberries already. We had the quick row ones. Nice. Blueberries give you so much money. Oh my goodness. I love it. We also need the blueberries for the bundle, right? Um, let's check real quick. Yep. So we'll just keep one of those for this particular harvest. I'm going to sell the rest. Feels good. Okay. Time to water. Look at what else we get here. Ourselves some pine tar. Get rid of some of these extra trees that have sprouted around our trees. Not great. Um, why is this tree not growing? Surely it should, right? Or is it is it one too close? Oh, you know what? It might be, right? Because this is two apart. That's only one. Ah, I think I planted this tree too close. Wait, is this supposed to be our, our other tree? Did, did I plant the apple tree? Wait, is that... Crap. I need to figure out when I bought an apple tree, if I bought an apple tree, or should I go buy another apple tree? Oh, I'm so confused. Nobody's confirmed it either, and I feel like I'm being trolled. Hey, we got an orange. Uh, which actually means we could turn in the orange and... With the pine tar, I think that means that we can finish that particular bundle. Um, and we got the blueberry and a tomato. Yeah, I think... I we should definitely go turn that stuff in. So I think all we're really missing is the melon. But we need to go check our vendor. So go do that first and then we'll head into town. I mean, I could buy the snow yam. So I may as well do that. But nothing else here is anything that I need. So yeah, we'll just uh, close that out. And do I want to do the secret woods right now? No, let's go get all of this other more important stuff done first. I can always head there afterwards, but at this point, like I have to get to the uh, to the blacksmith to get this upgrading, to open this box, to go to the uh, community center to turn all this stuff in, to go to the carpenter to potentially start a building, maybe for a um, what you call this? Damn, what is he doing? Sam's trying to do a kickflip. Good job, buddy. Yeah, we need we need to get a barn because we need cows and all that stuff. So I think I think now is the time while well, I'm loaded. Now is the time to get something built. Okay, let's see here, Clint. Let's let's first um open this up. What's inside? Fertilizer. You know what? I'll take it. That's very good. Okay, uh upgrade tools. Crap, I didn't grab the bars. Do I have enough time? I think I have just enough time. Um, we need five iron bars. I thought, for whatever reason, I thought I had them in my inventory already. All right, that's fine. We can make it. Cutting this a little close, but hey, right, we got we got enough time. <laughs> All right, let's get here. Upgrade tools. Uh, watering can. Cool. Now, uh, we got the orange, the blueberry, snow yam, tomato. All of this stuff we can turn in. Pine tar. We'll go do that. 
And then I think I'm going to head towards the secret woods, maybe. Oh, oh, you know what? Another thing I hadn't checked. Okay, yeah, I, I haven't gotten... See, everybody gained like a bunch of, of hearts with me. Uh, they haven't yet, but if I had talked to them more, I would have a heart because it gives you the 60 friendship, which is great. But right now, I feel like I got to keep an eye on the Maru thing. Oh, there's a thing here. I just walked right by. Help wanted. Uh, try to keep all the art of fishing alive. I'll pay 120 gold to any fisherman who catches four carp. That's really not worth it. <laughs> this, I don't have the time. I don't have the time. I could pick it up anyways, but I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna commit to not having the time on that one. I got other things to do. We have to go into the mines uh, on the next one. Okay, so these are all the fish stuff. So we, we, it's not the fish stuff we're looking for here. We got, we got uh, is it the field research bundle? No, dye bundle. No, oh god, it's probably over in the pantry, isn't it? It's none of these. It's none of these. All right, that's fine. Now we. <laughs> Now we know it's none of those. Uh, also, Robin is only open until like five. So I might need to grab the stuff and start something tomorrow um, on my way over to the mines. So, yeah, we're just missing the melon. So we got the blueberry, got the tomato. Um, if I go to artisan bundle, we can pop this in here. Two more remaining. That should be pretty easy to finish. We've got the... Is it, which, which one am I missing? I guess it must be over here. Oh, which exotic foraging? Yeah, okay, so this will finish the exotic foraging. Perfect. Which is going to give us Autumn's Bounty. You know what? I'll take that as someone who's about to head into the mines. <laughs> I'll take that. So we just have the fall foraging bundle and the winter foraging bundle, uh, of which... I just need two remaining things on each one, which is really nice because it's possible I could get the crystal fruit and the crocus um, in the mines as we get to the, the icy spot. So it's possible we can get it out of there. Uh, but possibly, I think it is. And it's definitely possible that we get it off of the fender before that point too and just finish that one off, which would be great. All right, let's finish out this day. And then, yeah, next, next day is mines, like for sure. Get a bunch of money off of that. Uh, I gotta hit up Pierre's to buy an apple tree just in case. <laughs> just, I don't remember. I don't remember if I have bought an apple tree yet, and I need it at this point. I need it. This is my, my cutoff point. Um, can I? There we go. Weather report. Beautiful today, or the day tomorrow, rather. Neutral today. Okay, that'll be that'll be fine. It's better than, better than the alternative. Got our melons, baby, so we can finish the summer crops. It's actually really nice. Pick up the summer squashes. Um, does that mean we're going to be continuously producing summer squash over there too? I think it, I think that's exactly what that means. Um, we also needed our five gold star melons. Definitely achieved that, so we can turn that one in. We've gotten better at farming. Oh man, it, we just got a lot going on today, huh? That's nice. Melons sell for a lot too, so this will, this will help out. Maybe I should buy some like quick crops for, for that. Uh, let's grab these two. I'll hit up my chickens. And then, yeah, then we'll go turn this stuff in and hit up Pierre's. So to get a barn, I need 350 wood and 150 stone. I've got 74 stone. So I'm going to have to keep an eye out for the bigger rocks in the mines as we're mining. Because if I, if I have to utilize my time to dig those out in order to get enough stone, then I, I have to make it a point, I suppose, to, to go do that. Okay, so I definitely want... <laughs> I don't know if I bought the apple sapling or not. It's possible I have. In order to not rebuy it, what I'm going to do quickly is check the wiki for apple tree... And what will happen is it'll show me the saplings, potentially. Uh, what it looks like, yeah, stages of growth. Okay, so it's on here. After seven days, it looks like that. Yeah. You know what? I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I bought it. Let's just buy another one, even if I did. Whatever. Now we have two apple trees. Um, should I get any other, like, easy things? 
Is there any easy things here outside of like wheat? Oh, you know what I could do? Hmm. I could get a bunch of corn because I could plant that where the melons were and then I could potentially get the five gold corns. Hmm. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy, how many melons do I have? Like 30? We'll, we'll buy, we'll buy 30 corns. Yeah, I think that's a, I think that's a smart move to do it that way. Uh, as far as everything else, nah, I don't, I don't think I need it. And I don't have now enough money to get that, but I was considering it. Unfortunately, I also kind of need to hold on to like 5k at the moment. That Now that I'm producing blueberries though, that that's going to be a much easier thing to just be like, all right, let's buy the final bag upgrade. All right, melon in here. What's going to get us? Going to get... A sprinkler. Hey, I'll take that. That's really nice. And then finally, we can put these in here. Yeah, you see, so instead of waiting for the pumpkins, I can uh, basically right at the start of fall, because it takes 15 days, so right before the start of fall, I get my first corn harvest, get the five corns, get this done. Um, and then I just need the artisan bundle. Which, honestly, I might be able to get sooner rather than later. The animal bundle. So we need the wool and the goat milk and all that stuff. Which is why I need the barn. And then the fall crops. So we'll get the corn. And then we just need the eggplant, the pumpkin, and the yam. So, like, you know, all things considered, we're kind of rocking it here. Is there anything else I need to turn in? No. I think I have enough space to just go sit in the mines for a bit. Okay. Level 60, baby. Got a better sword? No, this is the dagger. Ah, oh, that's right. I forgot. The daggers are like really good against those ghost dudes. Um, they're not like hyper good else elsewise, but they're they're pretty good against those ghost dudes. So I actually may go and swap to that. We can also fish here. I think we need to collect a fish there. Still not I think 70 might be the layer that we start getting gold. But yeah, well we'll get to that point. I'm not like I'm not like rushing to get there. I would love to get the gold though. So like if if we could get a gold bar and finish that bundle like now, that would be freaking fantastic. Uh, this this old ghost thing is what I was talking about with, with these daggers. So there. Oh, or maybe not. Which dagger am I thinking of? There is a dagger that I got that is like so good against these guys because they don't knock them back. But now I don't remember which one it is. So I'm just gonna end up selling that dagger. <laughs> A useless weapon. Oh, I just got a, the crystal fruit, which I was just talking about. Which is it? Uh, this is a crops bundle. We need the, not the vault, not the boiler room, it's fish tank, crash room. Fall? No. Winter. Okay, so all we need is the, the crocus. Crocus? Cro whatever it is. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, this is, <laughs> I've been meaning to bring this up, but I've not found a, a situation where this is actually the case. Have you ever seen... A, uh, a slime with a gold star on its like little I don't know, tail thing. Um, it means it's got an item on it. Like if it's got a... So, so this slime down here doesn't have anything, right? It's just a slime. But then if you get a slime with just like a little bitty thing, then it's it's got a better... Ooh, one defense, two immunity. Two defense, one immunity. I think we'll go with with the ones we have. <laughs> Uh, crap, my inventory is like really filling up right now. It is a problem. Okay, I think I just keep dealing with it. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, if you, if it's got like a little tiny tail, it means that, yeah, it is, uh, it is a creature, it is a slime that has something on it, but it's not like a special item. But yeah, if it has the gold one, like that one right there. Man, double whammy in one, one level, that's pretty good. It means it's got a special item. So let's see what this one's got. If it's another pair of boots, I don't care. It is cool. We're just going down. Don't I don't care about the boots. Go away. Okay, we finally made it to 70, which is great. It's perfect. It's what we needed. I need to clear out my inventory of something. Um, crap. I think I'm just gonna clear of the boots. I am. I'm gonna do it. Boots are gone. Master slingshot. Don't want that either, honestly. But we got it. Okay, let's go quickly look on the next level. Is it the lava one? No, we're still in the frozen. Okay. It must be like 80 or something like that. But we're getting real close to being able to get that gold. And at this point, I could just buy the enough ore to get the gold bar. 
kind of debating doing that. I mean, we went from 55 to 70 in one evening, but that was because it was because it was raining. So I'm kind of like 50-50 on whether or not I should waste the money and get that bar done. Because if we can get, um, actually, let's look at it. What is it? It's not the crafts room, boiler room. So I need, so I have to get the fire quartz anyway. So I don't think I, I waste the money. Yeah, but that gets us the mine carts, which is huge. That means that we can like blast around the valley pretty quick. So um, that will be very helpful to have, I think. So I think I'm, it might be worth it to to just double down on that and consider mm, maybe pushing as far into the mines as possible. It might be very helpful. I don't think there's anything here I actually want to sell. Just dump all that in. Dump all that in. All right, apple seed. We definitely 100% have an apple seed. I'm going to plant this apple tree right there, baby. <laughs> we now know for a fact that we have an apple tree. Uh, oh, you know, we need to take those with us. We need to take that with us. Take that. Got to turn that in. Put that there. And, and we got to go get our watering pail. Okay, you know what? I'm pretty happy about that. Let's go sleep. See how much money we got this day. Don't think it's a whole lot, but we did the melons. Level 7 farming. Got the loom. That's very good. Ooh, combat too. Uh, ooh, we get to choice. Uh, plus one ore per vein or chance for gems to appear in pairs. No, we're going ore. Because uh, I, I want a bunch of gold ore. We just made 15k. The vast majority of that was melons. That was pretty good. That was a really good harvest. I'll take it. 